So I'm just going to show you a little today about how to make a custom orthotic using some of the foam that you're seeing on the screen right now. This is actually fairly cheap stuff and you can get it on the web and I'll have the links below. So the first thing is you mix equal parts, the yellow and the blue stuff. If you want to vary it slightly, a little more yellow will give you a slightly foamier, slightly lighter consistency, a little more blue and it's going to be a little more dense. I find the mixture just 50-50 works really, really nice for this application. So you stir it together, give it a couple minutes, that was fast forward. And now we lay out a little bit of saran wrap for the bottom. And in this case, I'm using a, a, a normal, fairly high orthotic, because if you use too much foam in there, it actually squeezes down too much. And I find having an orthotic already out there off the shelf is a good place to start from. And so now you get your foot about where you want it to, and we pour some of the foam. Now, to be honest, this is not uh, one of my better uh, results here. I actually did not put enough foam, uh, mix enough foam here, and so it didn't come out quite right and it isn't usable, but you'll still get an idea of the process. So you take the foam out, spread it around nice. Usually you want to make sure you get the heel cup, especially the bottom left hand, or the, the bottom outside of the foot. And then you put another piece of saran wrap on top and have fun squishing it. Now the general idea is that the foam is still rising a little bit right now. So you want to get your foot down about where you want it to be, and then it'll grow a teeny bit more, which will compensate for the squeezing that'll happen later. And then about 20 minutes later, uh, this is what you get. You clean off some of the excess, and I usually find I have to go in with it, an X-Acto blade to get things about right. And here's a little of that. Normally there's a bit more involved. It's not, not too much. Um, these, these little lumps on the ends are usually some of the places where I end up needing to, to go in and trim a little bit. Scissors, scissors also work pretty well with it. But it is a remarkably sturdy material. I've had some of these orthotics in my shoes for months at a time. And so once you get it close to where you want, try it out a couple times, maybe do a little more trimming. But I'm going to go ahead and go with it now so you don't get to watch through all, all of that. And then uh, we shove it into a shoe here. Now you're going to see, again, this is not one of the ones I used. It's a little bit tall for me. Uh, you're going to see me take a couple steps here, and I'm actually rolling a little bit to the outside, separating, and that's not good. But you get an idea how to do it? Go ahead and give it a try.